Okay, welcome back to another Flask video. Today we're going to add some routing to our navbar and our Flask app. We're gonna have buttons in our navigation that's gonna take us to different pages. And before we get into it, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future. I also have my Patreon linked in the description below if you wanna go check that out. And where we left off, we talked about template inheritance and before that, we added this navbar. However, there's no links in this navbar to take us to different places. So far, we only have the home page, which is this, and then the about page, which is the slash about route. So how can we add those two routes, both the home and the slash about, into our navigation bar that we use Bootstrap for? Well, the first thing we're gonna do, actually, I'm gonna make this navbar dark, because personally, I think darker looks better. Uh, so navbar dark and background dark and the class for the nav bar. Now if we refresh, it's going to look a little better in my opinion. Okay, so we're gonna go look at the bootstrap documentation for the nav bar and I'm going to take a few things out of this. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna add this class to our nav because when we start showing all of the different links, these are going to collapse depending on the size of the screen or of the browser. So I'm gonna copy this particular class. I'm going to put it in our nav right here. And then now I'm going to take this whole div and we're not gonna use every single thing in this div. We only want a couple links, but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to take the whole div and put it under the span. And the first thing I'm gonna remove is this form. We don't need a search. And I'm also gonna remove everything but the first two list items. So now we have two different links. We have this one that says link and this one that says home with a span. I'm gonna take the span out of this. So they're just a simple link. And none of that really matters. What really matters is how do we use Flask to tell this anchor tag when we click on it where to send us. We could hard code the href here to be slash about, but we're gonna be a little more dynamic. We're gonna use open and close curly braces, two of them. And inside of this, we're going to use our friend, the URL for function. We talked about this previously. And here, we're just going to call the function of the route for whatever this link is going to navigate us to. So if we remember, this is the home page, and if we go back to our main.py, the function name is test up here. So that's what we need to pass in as a string into the URL for function, so test. And the same is going to be true with the about, and instead of link, this is going to say about, and we're going to also use the URL for function, and the function name for the about route is actually just about. So we'll pass that in as a string. And now if we go back to our app and we look at it, we're gonna have two new links. We have the home, we have about. If I hover over, I'm in the bottom left. You can, it's kind of small, but you can see where it's going to send us. If we hover over about, it's slash about. And if I click it, it takes us to the slash about route. And if I click home, it'll take us back to the home route. And the reason this one is lit up, even if we press about, is because it has another class assigned to it, another bootstrap class called active in the list item. So I'm gonna remove that just so it stays consistent. And if we refresh, they're both the same color. So this is how you can use the URL for to dynamically set what the URL is for a particular route. And we did set kind of the same thing for referencing the bootstrap min.css file. So hopefully this video helped. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.